Hi everyone. So in this recording, I will be talking about percentage distribution of worker in usual status by the status in employment. Okay. So this is what it is called status of employment, whether they are self-employed, whether they are regular wage salary employed, or are they casual labor? But how will we come to know this? So if you remember, we have downloaded this instruction okay maybe in second video so here you can see these all are self-employed right these are own account worker and these are employers okay so own account worker and employer so this is one category another is this household helper okay and the third one is regular salaried wage employees and another is my casual labor so casual labor will consist of this 41 and then 51 there is no 42 in my data i will show you okay now this will be since we are interested in principal status plus subsidiary status okay now the same code will be for subsidiary status also and we will be giving preference to the principal status over subsidiary status and likewise we will try to give the codes so now let's move to this data and see things happening okay here i come control open and i am opening my do file okay and wait 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 what i can do is let me load my master data set the data set on which we are working since video number five i guess after so this is basically the merged data set <coughs> okay now let me move to the do file so as you remember from the part five video i have renamed this status code social group then i have keep in i have, i kept only male female i have removed transgenders then I have defined the social group sector and I have given them the label and this is the labor force how we have generated so let me run all these codes okay at one click let it process now it has been processed <coughs> okay now I want to generate one variable called broad status is equal to let me give an empty column first then i will be defining them okay see 418 147 as you can see this is the same number so these many missing values have been generated so basically i have created one column now i will replace them replace this broad status is equal to one if now as i said uh, what we want we want this own account worker and employer and this is code number 11 and 12 okay right. so if in list this is for status this is for principal activity if it is 11 or 12 okay hit enter all right all right so i should not have given a space here hmm. so now it has been generated now again i will be doing the same i will replace it with two in list no but what i want since for the household helper we have only one code it was 21 okay so if a status code is equal to 21 hmm. let me show you again so this is for household uh, this worked as helper household helper helper in the household 
सो दिस इज ओनली ट्वेंटी वन कोड नंबर ऑल राइट नाउ अगेन आई विल गो टू रिप्लेस थ्री इफ दिस स्टेटस कोड इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन सो दिस इज फॉर कैजल लेबर ओ सॉरी फॉर रेगुलर वेज और रेगुलर सैलरीड एम्प्लॉय राइट नाउ अगेन आई विल गो हेयर एंड आई विल पुट फोर and if uh, instead of this i should be using this because there are multiple codes so for if it is 41 or 51 hmm okay now what i want this is for principal status okay now now i will be generating for subsidiary status also before that let me show you something browse status code not browse let me use the tabulate okay so as you can see there is code 4151 there is no 52 this is what i was saying this 51 61 62 71 72 these are not available in the data that's why i have not taken them okay else i should have taken under this code for under this casual labor part okay now i want to generate it for subsidiary status so what i will do is again i will replace it with one okay if now what i am saying is i want to give preference to the principal status over the subsidiary status so let me write code first then i will explain you again replace broad status is equal to one if this broad status uh, this should be in capital letters because i have used capital is equal to dot dot means if it is empty and in list this status code no this time it should be subsidiary okay this should be 11 or 21 21 okay so now what it has done wherever it has found the codes are empty in the broad status or 11 21 in the subsidiary status then only it has given one let's say for example in a in a particular column 11 was also given uh let's say 21 was given here as a subsidiary status and uh, here in the principal status it was given 11 then it will automatically track 11 not 21 because 21 was given in the subsidiary status but suppose if it is any value in the principal status then only it is moving further and if it is 11 or 21 in the status code subsidiary status then also it is giving one i hope you got it else i will show you once again when i will browse the variables okay now what i can do is replace broad status is equal to 2 if broad status is equal to this and now since i have only one variable this time if status code is equal to okay okay so i have made one mistake uh this should have been i don't know whether it will get correct or not hmm we'll see that it should have been like this 150 okay now let's not get disheartened what i will do the mistake has been made and uh, 
the changes cannot be done from here and if it can be then i am not sure how to do so what i will do i will simply write the codes here okay firstly i will clear all the things and then i will run the codes so basically all these codes again and i'm coming back all right so i have written the codes again so the mistake which i did was it should have been 12 here instead of 21 so by mistake it has happened and since the uh, values has already been generated so i could not get back to its original position that's why it is always best to use do file so what i will do i will simply clear everything okay all my variables have gone all the changes have gone i will simply open my master data set so as you can see even in the status code although status will appear but we have not named now we will be renaming it as principal plus subsidiary likewise so this is what we have done in this do file right as you can see this is all repetitive so i was doing this code so this was for principal status so i have created one variable which has na values then i created one if it is 11 12 i have already given you the intuition and this was for subsidiary status and you can take a pause and check it so the same intuition goes as i as i have explained earlier okay now let it run okay now broad status has been created okay now let me show you tab broad status so since there are one two three four and now we need to define the labels because it makes no sense to me right now okay so what i will do is label define this broad status okay one uh sorry one is for own account worker two is for helper in household okay three is for regular salaried employee okay and the fourth one was casual labor hmm. so i am doing control a control c and i will save it in my do file also okay what it happened <laughs> broad status hmm so what i have done wrong is i have put this two times okay now it has been defined now i will give the values label values and then this is broad status and it is getting derived from broad status itself hit enter now the values have also been assigned now as you can see now we can easily read this one two three what all they means okay so control a control c and i will be saving it in my do file so that next time i don't have to rename again okay so this is how things work in strata control a control c control v control s now i want to tabulate so i will go to tab and what all variables are there we have only uh, this gender and then we have broad status in employment 
so this broad status we have already defined gender already defined so tab gender then we have this broad status and since we want for the population we will be using multiplier okay if this sector we want to find it for rural if sector is equal to one one was for rural and the person should be in the labor force labor force is equal to one and we want in this format hmm. so this is for rural and let me do for urban also then I will make sure that it gets matched with the PLFS report, annual report. Okay, so when I have removed the sector, it means it is for both rural plus urban. Okay, so let me take side by side. Hmm. All right, so. As you can see, let me take this out also. Hmm. If you will round it to one decimal, then it is same. So 46.9, if you round, or round it off, then it will be 47 only. 12.39, it's 12.4 only. And then they have just added these two. You can use it in Excel. And then you will get this or maybe i should show you also you will get let me import in excel okay okay so i will come here on stata and then simply i will copy table hmm. control v then I will insert one column here. Control plus is equal to some. Okay. Although there are only two values, I could have directly added them. Okay. So we can maybe remove this column. Control minus. Okay. So can we do this? Yeah. I think yes. Okay. So this is 59.36. Again, you when you will round it off, it will become 59.4. And then this is 73.5. This is 64.72. Okay. So I hope you got it. And let me what I can do is hmm. so this was for rural sector. This is for urban sector. It is again 35.1, 44.7. Uh, you can take a pause and look at it. They are matching. So, yes, that's all for this video. Thank you so much. If you learned something valuable from this video, please press the like button to make YouTube happy. If you'd like to support my work and help me keep creating more content, you can scan the QR code on the screen. A lot of time and effort goes into recording and editing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.